Jenny and I are camping in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado because of all the Bigfoot sightings here. Plus it's beautiful. Colorado's number one in the Rockies for Bigfoot sighting reports. Not saying more Bigfoots live here than anywhere in the Rockies, but more are reported here. So people are reporting those sightings. I decided to set up some cameras and do a few time lapses, but I found some Bigfoot tracks nearby. I found a string of them and they were, you know, kind of suggestive and I'm just like, I don't know, maybe it's an illusion. Then I found a really nice one that's 18 inches in long that I'm going to come over and film for you guys. But I'd like to get some cameras rolling around me when I know I'm going to be filming for a minute. I've got one right here. And I've got one probably a hundred yards off that way. I found a really deep bear track impression. So I'm going to be able to show you guys the difference between bear and Bigfoot. This is an 18 inch long track that I found over here. It could have made this yesterday while it was raining. It was soft or last night afterwards. But this thing is just huge. Let me get a better angle on it for you guys. So my shadow's not going across it. You can see, and this is my monopod that I'm using as a pointer stick. You can see where the toes come across all the way over here. And then it runs all the way back here. And you can see where it's still moist right here. It doesn't curve right there. It curves a little bit further back. I've got the tape set up where it's actually curving it's a sunshiny day today so the mud and water starting to dry up but the hill the hills touching the shadow of my monopod right there this thing is just ginormous 18 inches long at the widest part right here where the it starts getting up towards the toes it's about seven inches wide there and where it starts to curve at the back towards the hill area i measured that and that was six inches so this thing's just ginormous 18 inch bigfoot track and i've looked at this thing closely holding the camera close so you guys can look at it too and i was finding other bigfoot tracks off in the grass and stuff that way they just weren't enough for me to make a big deal out of. But this one, this one's a big dealio right there. I will take you guys off in the trees that way and show you where I found a giant bear track. And even if that giant bear was double stepping, it would not have been able to make this dimensions wide or long. We'll go take a look at it. Yeah, the bear tracks over this way. And it's a big bear. One thing I've noticed is a lot of places, most of the places that you have Bigfoot sightings, the bears are there too. So they're after the same stuff. They share the same habitat. So it's not surprising to find bear track within a hundred yards or so of Bigfoot tracks. And I've been finding a lot of uh, strawberry vines up here. There were strawberries early in the season. Yeah, right here below me. There's a strawberry vine right there. See, I got another camera sat up over there. Okay, there's that bear track. Now this bear track, it's the rear of the bear and it's 10 inches in length and that's a damn good size for a black bear and that's all that's supposed to be in the state of colorado however i personally believe there are some grizzly bears here but that's a bear track okay if it was double stepping if the rear is 10 the front will be five or six and double stepping perfectly 
from hill to toe, that would make it 15 to 16 inches long. It wouldn't make it 18. Width on that one is six. Double stepping rear to front does not make the track wider. So you're not gonna get um, the seven or more inches width at the top. So I just showed you guys a Bigfoot. Now I'm showing you a bear. In the beautiful wilds of Colorado, the San Juan Mountains. Some of the craziest Bigfoot sighting reports have happened in these mountains. There's also a handful of videos where people have think that they have videoed the creature up near some of the rivers and creeks here. Up near where we're camping in the San Juan Mountains, Jenny found some raspberries that are all ripe. Can you see that one right in there? Where's the puppy? Check that out. We've already found evidence of Bigfoot and bear up here. We also found some huckleberries. But yeah, there's a ton of these up here. Ton! Oh, oh there's fresh ones all over. Yeah, I had one and it's tasting nice. It's starting to get really cold at night up here, making all the berries sweet. And check out these ones. Just two of the varieties of berries just in this little area and there's just big bushels of them everywhere. Yeah, when I'm up in a Bigfoot sighting hot spot like the San Juan Mountains, I want to know why the creature would be here. I'm sure there's a thousand whys and uh, this is just two of them. What an amazing place to search for Bigfoot. With the most Sasquatch sightings reported in all of the Rocky Mountains. Please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell button so that you can get notifications of the two or more videos we post each week with the latest in Bigfoot news, sightings, and investigations into Sasquatch encounter locations and hot spots in the Pacific Northwest and the Rocky Mountains. Keep on watching, we're gonna keep on squatching.